This is an ABC News special report. Terror in Paris. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. And we are coming on the air right now because French police and SWAT teams have surrounded those two gunmen responsible for that massacre in Paris two days ago. It's occurring now in a town about 20 miles northeast of Paris, Damartin Guel, near the airport, uh, the French International Airport as well, in a printing operation near that big white building you see right there. The entire village on lockdown right now, a major police operation, according to the Ministry of the Interior in France. And our Alex Marquardt is there right now. Alex. Good morning, George. We are here in Demartin en Guel. Situation taking place a short distance behind me in an industrial zone at a small printing company. Those two suspects have taken at least one person hostage, uh, we understand. And the, there's a massive security presence. They've dropped a huge net on this area. There are assault teams next to that industrial zone. There are police who have blocked off all the access roads to this town on the highway, uh, on the smaller roads. We were listening to the mayor just a short time ago who has told all of the residents to stay inside and to lock their doors. Residents have told ABC News that they are indeed scared about this situation. One school teacher uh, who told us that they are keeping all the kids in the schools right now uh, said that the pupils are staying away from the windows, watching TV, singing songs, trying not to get panicked. An extremely tense uh, situation here as the, uh, the security forces try to, in the words of the interior minister, neutralize these two suspects. Trying to neutralize the two suspects. There have been some kind of discussions that have gone on with the hostages as well. I'm going to go to Terry Moran in Paris. And Terry, uh, this began to unfold several hours ago when it was discovered that the, uh, the gunman had stolen a car of Peugeot and exchanged gunfire with police. That's right, George. The interior ministry right behind me, that's the crisis center right now. French President Hollande was in there, but you're right, the noose was closing on these two suspects over the night and in the previous couple of days. 88,000 uh, police and army troops searching that area, closing that noose, and in that stolen car, we are told by government officials, uh, the brothers came upon a government roadblock on the N2 motorway right where they were searching and in fact exchanged gunfire and then retreated into this industrial area that Alex has described. They took over this printing company. There are reports that there were civilians, clients of the company there, one of whom has told, uh, reportedly told one of the French uh, media outlets that he in fact shook hands with one of the gunmen who he thought at first was a policeman, and the gunman told him, you're free to go, we don't kill civilians. Right now, this is a standoff. French law enforcement officials expect that these are men who want to die as martyrs. That is what one official has said. So this is it. This is the showdown uh, that 88,000 French law enforcement officers and the French people uh, have been looking toward to see how this awful terrorist attack that happened on Wednesday will end. They are warning as well. It could take several hours to unfold. Okay, thank you, Terry. I'm here with Brian Ross uh, here in the studio. That message, according to the Interior Ministry, we want to die as martyrs, consistent uh, with the actions of Al Qaeda. And we learned overnight that one of the brothers, Saeed, had traveled to Yemen back in 2011. Right, according to U.S. intelligence officials, actually traveled there to train with Al Qaeda for at least a month. There is now huge interest, George, in taking these men alive to learn what they might know about others who train with Al Qaeda who are still in France. There's a belief they are part of a hidden Al Qaeda cell that was standing by in Paris for just this kind of attack. Which is why the SWAT teams may be willing to be patient right now. Of course, we're going to continue our reporting. Much more to come ahead on GMA in just a few minutes. Stay with us. This has been a special report from ABC News.